Are you interested in social engineering projects? Then The Open Society and Its Enemies by Karl Popper is a book for you. Closed societies reinforce officially claimed rules, often through repression and totalitarianism. Closed societies resist change and resist learning from experiences. Within an open society, criticisms are welcome. Open societies are inclusive to different people, interests, and ideas. The open society learns from experiences. Society cannot delegate all their thinking, even to those deemed the best of decision makers, for everyone makes mistakes. Closed societies have people determine what to do without allowing for criticism. Totalitarian regimes consider any criticism as hostile as they are a challenge to the authority. This process leads to surprise and contradictions. Wanting to be correct and therefore ignore contradictory evidence is not limited to totalitarian decision makers. Without criticism, the decision makers can get more influence even when they are against freedom and reason. Reluctance to criticize bad ideas leads to the destruction of good ideas. Humanitarian claims can be made by their deadliest enemies, as totalitarian regimes often get favored for their humanitarian claims. Under the guise of humanitarian allies, they generate disunion and confusion. Alternatively, the open society prevents people from hiding their contradictions. Those who desire an open society want to reject absolute authority and reject the values that are hurting humankind. The open society wants rational criticism to find values, whether new or old, that raise the standards of freedom. The open society declares an unwillingness to delegate all responsibility for thinking to others in authority. Some caveats for the book includes that the book is generally difficult to read and is polarizing. The book was written during World War II to explain the totalitarian philosophical background. The core of the book is an attack on the various philosophers who were historicists. Historicism is the use of history to make predictions, which includes raising the status of a few to be above everyone else. The two main philosophers presented are Plato and Karl Marx. Their perceived errors are well established, but not their potentially appropriate values. Logic behind the errors is well established, but often the resolutions are lacking. Sometimes the errors themselves come from misunderstanding concepts. Till the next review.